Hi there. In this video today, we're going to talk about mission statements. We're going to talk about aims, objectives, as well as smart objectives and what kind of value they are to the company. And last but not least, we'll talk about the hierarchy of objectives. First of all, what is a mission statement? A mission statement gives an overall purpose to the business. Basically, what in the mission statement you will find things like, for instance, what are the beliefs of the company? What does it stand for? Its core values. Yeah? How will it benefit all of the community in which it's working? And last but not least, it also gives an, an overall purpose yeah, for the employees working to the business. So in other words, what is the value yeah, of the mission statement? Yeah, and typically, one, it helps with the decision making within the company. And secondly, it gives yeah, the employees a sense of the company that they're belonging to, a sense of its purpose, yeah, what they want to do on a day-to-day -day basis, and so on, so on, and so on and so forth. The overall purpose, by the way, typically is a qualitative statement. Why is it important? Well, in some cases, some companies just consider a mission statement a PR exercise, and then therefore the value of it will be very much diminished. You know? The mission statement is only as good as the employees who are working for the business support it in their day-to-day -day behavior. From the mission statement, by the way, we will then get to aims or corporate aims. By the way, these are the long-term plans from which ultimately we will derive the objectives of the company. Again, um, aims will be put together by senior management and yeah, as I said, they are the long-term plans, which then, of course, help also the more junior people within the organization with the decision-making, and also it will provide support and guidance for the objectives of the company in the medium to long term. By the way, corporate aims, again, yeah, will be qualitative statements, not quantitative statements. Objectives, by the way, are definitely numerical. So in other words, whenever there are figures mentioned in a statement, those are objectives, and in most cases, corporate objectives. Corporate objectives are medium to long-term goals to coordinate the business. They are numerical, and secondly, by the way, they have to be SMART. And SMART, by the way, is an acronym that stands for specific, so you need to be very, very sure what exactly we are measuring. Is it revenue? Is it profit? It has to be measurable, i.e. there have to be figures involved, something that is concrete and measurable. And typically, of course, if those objectives are agreed, then people will commit to it and therefore it will be easier to um, hopefully you know, reach the goal, reach the objective. Based on the resources of the company, of course, they have to be realistic. And last but not least, they have to be time specific. So in other words, it has to be made clear from the objective in what time frame they want to reach that particular goal, whether it is in one year, two year, three years time. All of that, yeah, of course, are all what we would call smart objectives. And last but not least, here you have what we call the hierarchy of all of the objectives. So first of all, you start off with a mission statement. From there, that will be typically put together by senior management as well as the shareholders of the business. They will then yeah, come up yeah, with the corporate aims. That will be, of course, done by senior management, and they will drive from there the corporate objectives 
which then, of course, fall into functional objectives for functions like marketing, HR, operations, finance. Each of them will have their own objectives. Yeah. And, and of course, from there, you can also have what we would call personal objectives, the objectives of each of the employees yeah, contributing to the organization. So therefore, you have a downward communication from the mission statement, from senior management downward, yeah, to all of the functions, to all of the people within the organization. On the other hand, you also have to make sure that all each of those objectives, from a functional perspective, roll up into the, the corporate objectives, and they will then contribute to the corporate objectives, and ultimately, of course, also to the mission statement. So you have to make sure that all of the objectives contribute to the corporate aims and the mission statements. I hope this makes sense, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.